So, as you can see, what we have today is a glorious sunny day in the south of England, my home in Wiltshire. Um, the thing with the sun is you have to be careful with it. As you know, when you go out onto the beach, you go sunbathing, uh, you typically put on sun cream. The same should really apply if you're doing solar observing. I mean, solar observing is a dangerous hobby. It can be very, very dangerous uh, unless you use the proper equipment that we've been discussing and hopefully discussing throughout the course of this video. Um, putting sun cream on, on, especially on a hot day like this, is a very good idea, especially if you're going to be uh, observing the sun for long durations. You should never, ever point any telescope that's not specifically designed to be used for solar observing or specialist filters used for solar observing at the sun at all. The safest way to observe the sun uh, for white light observing is using a, a refracting telescope. Um, typically you wouldn't use a schmidt cassegrain or a Newtonian type telescope for projection methods where you point the telescope at the sun itself uh, and then you project the sun's image onto a piece of car typically a few feet behind the telescope itself. Here you can see a lot of the beautiful white light features like sunspots and their penumbra and umbra. Um, another safe way to do this um, is using safe solar filters. Um, one example is the Barda solar film which is available in an A4 sheet. Um, you can even make your own solar filters or you can purchase them from most astro astronomical retailers. Um, these white light solar filters fit on the front of the telescope and again do a similar job to this energy rejection filter but to a much higher level of, um, of safety uh, effectively because there's no additional filters in the path. Uh, the white light filters can give you a very pleasing white and or green coloured view depending on the filter model uh, and make that you choose. Uh, and then you can safely observe the sun uh, using an eyepiece or using a camera to take images uh, at the rear. With white light solar filters, it's very important that you make sure they're secured to the front of the refracting telescope uh, that you're going to be using, or you can use them with Schmidt cast grains or Newtonians, um, unlike some of the other um, white light options that are available. Um, very uh, important as I said, to make sure they're secure, so if you can purchase a, a properly designed one that has proper clips to hold in, in place at the front, it's fine. If you decide to make your own, just make sure that you've used Velcro or something that will keep it secure because you don't want a gust of wind or maybe a stray bird uh, picking the filter off and if you're looking through the telescope, within a few hundred milliseconds you will be blind, it's, it's that serious. We've discussed some of the white light options such as projection viewing of the sun using white light and also the use of solar filters like the Barda solar film. Another method is the Herschel wedge. This was developed in the mid to late 1800s by Sir John Herschel, the son of William Herschel, who was famous for obviously the discovery of Uranus and a lot of his work with his sister on uh, comets and various other things. Now the Herschel wedge uh, takes the principle of taking the light coming in from a refracting telescope. You can't use these with Newtonians or schmidt cassegrain telescopes. Light comes in at the front. What you have inside is a prism. Now the prism diverts about 95 to 96 percent of the harmful energy, light, radiation, etc., basically down and out and away from the eyepiece. Um, in this model, this is an Inter's Herschel wedge. Um, it comes out of the bottom directly. Now there's a lot of heat and energy coming out of the bottom here. So again, using one of these, you have to use it with care. Uh, but when used correctly, they are they are safe. Um, some of the other models from companies like Barda and Lunt have uh, different exhausting systems uh, along the bottom which prevent a lot of that heat energy reaching things like your knees, for example, if you're sitting down solar observing, um, or pieces of paper, or maybe curious young eyes, uh, maybe some young children around and putting their head underneath. Again, you've got to be really careful whenever you do any kind of solar um, white light uh, or even hydrogen alpha observing uh, to make sure that your equipment is correctly set up and that youngsters can't do themselves any harm. Uh, specifically things like removing finder scopes is very, very important. A finder scope on a telescope is another small telescope. The curiosity or the curious uh, minds uh, amongst the public may want to try and have a look at the sun through one of these. Again, that will blind them immediately, so make sure that you either remove or cap off finder telescopes um, when you're uh, observing the sun.